Hey guys, welcome back. We are week two, day one. We're going to be dealing today with Acts chapter two and really centering up on verse 19. It's a great uh, chapter. It is the chapter that talks about uh, when the day of Pentecost and the Holy Spirit was poured out and it, people were speaking in tongues and, and uh, people were being sa uh, saved. 3,000 people came to faith and more and people thought they were drunken men. And so Peter stands up and he says to them, he says, hey, listen, this is not drunken men. It's only nine o'clock in the morning. And what you're witnessing right now, what you're witnessing is the fulfillment of the prophet Joel. And Joel prophesied that this day would come. And the day that has come is the day when the Holy Spirit is poured out continually, continually, and what we are witnessing right now is that the Holy Spirit is still continually being poured out. He is here and alive, and he is, um, and anybody that wants or needs to come to faith can come freely to Jesus. The Holy Spirit is here. The free gift of eternal life is here for everyone. And that's what the Bible tells us in the book of Romans. The wages of death is, uh, the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is here through Jesus Christ, eternal grace. One day, this is all going to disappear. It's going to be gone. And when the Holy Spirit leaves, the church will go with it. Until that time, and it's interesting in 2 Thessalonians where we talked about the spirit, the, the lawless one and all that's going on with the fake um, wonders and the fake signs, evil deceit through the son of perdition, the mystery of lawlessness, the sinful condition that we see going on today is all caused by the chaos of the devil, false signs and wonders. And I needed to mention that to you first so you can see the difference and how so many people are falling for the faults. And now we're at this point, and this is how you know God's at work, is because now God is allowing you to see and exposing all this wicked deception to bring us, get us back to where we need to be. It's kind of like an Elijah moment, you know, where Elijah said to the people during Ahab's and Jezebel's day, how long are you going to be between two opinions? And God's asking that question to us. So for us in verse 19, it says in Acts chapter 2, I will show wonders and heavens and signs on earth below before the great day of the Lord. So these wonders and signs are real, and God is doing them. A matter of fact, the greatest sign and wonder imaginable right now that's happening in our world is that people are coming to faith in Jesus Christ. That Jesus Christ, because of grace, when you put your faith in Christ, you are completely dead but the Holy Spirit comes in and quickens you and makes you alive. You are now an eternal, living, breathing person. You were dead, but God raised you up, just as Jesus was raised up from the dead. And we're raised up in his power. And one day we're going to have a new body, because God didn't redeem the body. We're going to get a new body. 1 John chapter 3, verse 2 says, we are going to be just like Jesus, and we will see him as he is. But until that time, we're living in this place that we call uh, 2021, a very unique time in history. And so what I'm going to be sharing with you in the days ahead, now that you know that this, the devil is trying to operate in signs and wonders, um, trying to show us wicked deceit, all the things in the airwaves, all the false events that's happened through history that we're asking ourselves, were they real? All that is happening and being exposed tonight, today because God is now separating. So this is what we're going to talk about this week. So it's going to get a little deep, going to get a little hard because I'm going to talk about some things about the church. We need to wake up. I can't wait until tomorrow. But understand, God is still the God of signs and wonders, and he's still on the throne. Don't get so excited with Satan. Just because Hollywood is making millions of dollars off of you,
because you would go and watch the Harry Potters of this world. But you ought to see what God's doing. And we ought to be putting our money, our time, and our prayers towards the things of God, much more than the things of this world. Because God is more real, more real than the Harry Potter movies of this world. May the Lord bless you. I will see you next time.